हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय वीडियोस माय सेल्फ अश्विन नायक फ्रॉम टुडे लेट वी स्टार्ट नाइन सोशल साइंस हिस्ट्री पार्ट फोर्थ चैप्टर विजयनगर एंड बहुमनी किंगडम Okay, in this chapter, we have to study in the the main objectives. So, what are the objectives we have to learning in this chapter? Okay, first of all, we have to see that the establishment of Vijayanagara and Bahumani Kingdom, and then which related to the Vijayanagara and Bahumani Kingdom. So, what was the achievement and contributions of this uh, Sri Krishna Devaraya? So, what are the comp so what are the contributions of vijayanagara empire and to the culture and then the cultural achievement of the bahumani kingdom so these are all information studied in the topic okay let's see at that first one vijayanagara kingdom so in this vijayanagara kingdom the establishment of vijayanagara empire is in a landmark in the history of india the south indian dynasties the yadavas of devagiri kakatiyas of warangal pandyas of madurai hoysalas of dwara samudra it means halagiri the cholas of tanjavur were the all the victim of the violent attacks of on allahuddin kilji so as a result the political instability loyalness fear and religious turmoil prevailed so everything so under this the circumstance the king of the vijayanagara was born it ruled the the three centuries by the 13 centuries it spread upon the in okay it spread above it spread up the the indian ocean in the south bay of bengal in the east and arabian sea in the the western side the vijayanagara empire was born and who started this vijayanagara empire okay let's see now so vijayanagara empire it is established by the the harihara sorry established by hakka and bukka so hakka bukka he was established in this empire on the river banks of tungabhadra river in the year the 1336 ce so later on the hampe is the capital city of vijayanagara empire the vijayanagara kingdom had to face the resistance of this following kingdom that were a present during this time the delhi sultan gajapatis of orissa and bahumani kings of this north decad so these are all were established so the vijayanagara empire the four dynasties that ruled that vijayanagara empire so in this vijayanagara empire it is to ruled on this the four dynasties so which are the four dynasties at that first one sangama second one salva third one tuluva and then fourth one aravidu so in this four dynasties that ruled the the vijayanagara empire the famous king of this sangama dynasties were the harihara first bukaraya and harihara second and then prabuddha devaraya 
the Haryana laid for this foundation for this Vijayanagara Empire and then developed the capital administration to the new hill rocks. And then let's see the, the one by one the prominent kings or the kings of this Vijayanagara Empire in the Sangama dynasties. Okay, first of all, the Bukkaraya. So Bukkaraya, he was defeated the, the red reddies of Kondavidu and merged the Penukonda areas with that Vijayanagara Empire. So Bukka was successful in solving the, the religion war between the Jain and Sri Vaishnavas. By appealed the religious, the harmonies. So in fact, he revealed by one of that inscription is in Shravana Belabala. In fact, he revealed the one of that inscription in Shravana, Shravana Belagola resolving the, the religion's war between the Jain and Vaishnavas. He constructed a fort and a few temples in the capital and encouraged agricultural activities. So Bukkaraya sent the ambassador to the court of Chinese king belongs to the, the Ming dynasty. So Bukkara's son Kampana defeated the Sultan of Madurai. This victim is marked in this victim is marked in Madura Vijayam written by Ganga Devi. So this is the, the information of the King Bukkaraya. And then see let we see the, the another one king Harihara II. Okay, look at that picture. He was the Harihara II. So during the, the 27 years ruled the Harihara II, the son of Bukaraya, the Vijayanagara Empire composed the the west areas western areas he took into the control Kondavidu, Karnal and the Nellore forts so at this time the death of Bahumani Sultan Mujahid Arihara II expanded the kingdom from the Goa to the, the north Konkana coast he occupied the, the fort of Pangalalai to the North Krishna River in this year, the 1398. And then the Anaduran king, the Devaraya II or Prabuddha Devaraya, he is ruling to the, the 1424 to the 1446 C. The most famous king in the Sangama dynasties was Devaraya II. He had earned the title of the Elephant Hunter. So it is the one of the very important to for one more question. Who was the most popular king on Sangama dynasty? So it is the Prabuddha Devaraya Atva Devaraya II. And then what, what was the title he was earned? The Elephant Hunter. So Devaraya II to defeat the king Gajapati Kapilendra of Orissa and seized the Kondavid. By surprising this religion leaders of this old border, he expanded the kingdom up to the Krishna river in the northeast and he defeated the Kerala ruler the the received loyalties from the Kerala and then Sri Lanka.
So Devaraya, he defeated the Kerala rulers and received the loyalty from this Kerala and then Sri Lanka. So that's the reason he earned the title Dakshina Patuda Chakravarti, the emperor of the south. So through the sins consequent, the Vijayanagara Empire to extended from Sri Lanka to Gulbarga and the Telangana to Malabar. So according to Nuzin King, the Ceylons, Pulikat, Pegur, Tenasriam, so were playing to the loyalty of Prabuddha Devarayas. Second, so chess is the traditional fuel, the Hamud Shah and Bahumanity, the Bijapura and then occupied the Madugal and Bankapuras. His commanders Lakanna Dandesha took up the successful novel Novel Oyogyas. So Devaraya II was tolerant toward the other religious. He constructed the Muskyos, Jains and Vaishnavas temple in the capital, being the poet the himself also. He had to his court Sanskrit scholars Dindima and the Kannada scholar Lakhanna, Dhanesha, Dandesha during this period, Virashaiva, traditional and literature saw the, the revival. So after the death of Devaraya II, so after the death of Devaraya II in 1446, the weak king came to the power and ruled of the Sangama dynasty came into that the end. So and the next came into ruling from this Krishna Devaraya. So he was the, the son of Narayana of Tuluva dynasty and his second wife Nagalambika so Krishna Devaraya was the most famous king among the rule of Vijayanagara Empire. So during this rule, the Vijayanagara Empire reached the, the pinnacle of this glory. Comparable to the world famous rule like that Ashoka, Samudragupta and Ashavardhana, he ruled to the, the 20 years. So when he came to the power, the king of facing various Europeans who had to arrive through that, the new sea route were established with these colonies. The Mughals of this north were trying to expand their empire in the south. The five Shahi kingdoms of the Bahmani kingdom Bahmani dynasties to become the powerful sultan the flagged into war against that, that Krishna Devaraya. So in addition to these kings, so Ummaturu and Orissa were the constant source to the thread informations about that, that Krishna Devaraya, he was the one of the son of Narayana of Tuluva dynasty. Yeah, and then let's see that. So, what was the military achievement of Krishna Devaraya? Okay, let's see one by one. As mentioned by the Roberts, well, the Krishna Devaraya was an unparalleled warrior that showed commanders and then political experts. He won the, all the war and expanded his empire in the south. 
so at the time so the krishna revaraya the ascended to the throne the law and order situations of this vijayanagara empire and what sanded due to that the internal the revaras the region between the the 15 to 10 to 15 to 21 c are filled with the, the longest siege war the victims so he undertook the 14 major wars 14 major war this was the war the waged against bahumani adil shahi of bijapur and the nizam shahi in ahmednagar and uh, kutub shahi of golconda gajapati of orissa and others the shiftains so during the time the krishna devaraya annexed to the do ab region of this rayachur krishna devaraya liberated the mohammad shah and the made him the king bahumani kingdom in she got the title so hence i the the title yavana raja pratishthapana acharya this war destroyed to the power of bahumani hence the undertook the war of ganga rajas and then so among them war the waged by krishna devaraya the war with gajapati of orissa is important his war took place from the 1512 to 158 ce he captured so kondavidu vijayanagara and kondapali this war part gajapati rudra pratap devaru kingdoms in the south part the gajapati surrendered and got this daughters the married to that the krishna devaraya so krishna devaraya was not only a skilled warrior but also a able to administrator he wrote on the telugu war the amukta mauliyada the reveal of swadness and possessed in the the matter of the state he provided irrig- irrigation facilities for this expense of this agricultural with the friendship of portuguese increased the the foreign trade also he abolished the the tax on marriage he was the great pattern of this art literature and then the religion so they were the the eight telugu post annanan asta diggajas asta diggajas in this court so krishna devaraya was the poet himself and wrote on the jambavati kalyana in sanskrit allasani peddanna nandi timbanna drujiti tenali ramakrishna and others was in the telugu poet in his court and then the krishna devaraya construct the krishna temple at hampi so along with the many other temples he recited hesitated maharanga mantapa in the the virupaksha temple at hampi and also the many other temples the portuguese traveler pais barbor has uploaded the dignity and ability of krishna devaraya so during those times the people of religious 
the enjoyed this the religion also so this is the the military achievement and architect field in the krishna devaraya okay let me stop now